right now we have team coverage letting you know everything about uh, Tropical Storm Francine as it prepares to make landfall on the Gulf Coast. And Jim, as you're looking right now, a lot of folks are getting rain as we speak. Yes, and today is going to be a wet day off and on. We actually have a flood watch in effect right now. WDSU first warning radar showing us some rain, most of it on the light to moderate side. But today is going to be an off and on rainy day. Obviously, what we're most concerned about is what's going to happen tomorrow because that's when Francine is really going to impact our weather. Coming up here in just a moment, meteorologist Raven Richard is going to go parish by parish and show you exactly how Francine should affect your weather Wednesday. Right now, about 548 miles away from us, according to the 4 o'clock advisory in the National Hurricane Center. Let's go ahead and kind of show you exactly what's going on in the next 24 hours as far as the forecast track goes. What we're going to do is we're going to likely see this system getting a little bit stronger might become a category two hurricane here sometime in the next 24 to 36 hours. Now, if it follows this forecast track, here it is, category two storm, Wednesday afternoon, coming ashore somewhere, likely in the state of Louisiana. Again, here's your cone of probability. Doesn't matter where it goes in this cone. We're gonna get bad weather throughout the day on Wednesday. We already have a flood watch in effect through Thursday in the morning. Now let's go hour by hour and just show you a general idea. Here's today, yes, it is gonna be off and on wet. We're going to get some heavier rains, I think, moving in by the late morning, early afternoon. Maybe getting a break in the rain. Here we are about dinner time tonight. But once we get to midnight, that's when we're really going to be concerned about seeing those winds increase. And throughout the day on Wednesday, here come the rain bands associated with Francine. Not only the rain bands, but obviously the winds getting a lot stronger. Very, very, very heavy rain. Storm surge, obviously a big concern for us throughout the day on Wednesday. Here's the dinner hour. And again, Look at this as a big scenario type of thing. Don't say, oh yeah, it's going to be raining to beat the band right at 6 o'clock in Hammond. No, we're just going to have a lot of rain in place. You know how these rain bands come in. It rains for 10 minutes, then it doesn't rain for a half hour, then it rains again. But let me show you Thursday. Look at this. By Thursday morning, starting to clear out just a little bit. Thursday, especially by the afternoon, could be a pretty good day for us. But Wednesday's our big concern. Let's go over to meteorologist Raven Richard. She's going to go parish by parish for us, Raven. Yeah, so taking a look at some of the areas that we can expect to see some of the impacts for us. So we're breaking it down for you. First, we'll start out with Grand Isle. So Grand Isle and Lower Plaquemines. Uh, some of the impacts you can see, obviously, you do have a tropical storm uh, warning, surge warning, hurricane watch in effect. So likely you're going to see these uh, be enhanced a little bit. Four to seven feet as far as your storm surge goes. Other impacts you can expect three to six plus inches of rain. So locally we could have some higher amounts. Tornadoes, that is a possibility. We're looking at the uh, lower end of seeing tornadoes and then winds about 20 to 30 miles per hour. Could see uh, winds all the way up to about 39 to 57. That would be possible but limited. And then heading over to Thibodeau and Homa, Looking at a tropical storm warning right now, hurricane watch likely going to get upgraded soon. And then rainfall looking at also about three to six inches possible for you. And then tornadoes, there is that risk for that. Wind speeds could have gusts up to 45 miles per hour, but wind speeds could be beyond 70 miles per hour. So definitely going to be talking about some potential power outages. And then for the river parishes, we're looking at a tropical storm watch gusts up to 45 miles per hour. Uh, storm so this is going to be very important two to four feet. So that is in the significant range. Your rainfall three to six inches could be a little more. We're also looking at strong winds over in that area as well. And so this is when we are expecting uh, to have some of that damage, especially we've gotten all that rain last week. We'll have more rain for today. Uh, trees, power lines, those likely to come down. So we'll be watching that for you very closely. Uh, elsewhere, the North Shore coastal Mississippi also looking at those storm surge watches gust up to 45 miles per hour and also a good decent amount of rain looking at about three to six uh, inches possible for strong winds expected storm surge though do you got to be careful with that when looking at about uh, two to four feet as well the rest of your forecast looks like this obviously going to be rainy for the next couple of days but thursday as jim was showing you that looks a whole lot better for us though but it is going to be on the breezy side all right, Raven, thank you so much.